Hello everybody, this is Vincent from Affiliate Theme.io and this video is about uh, the eBay plugin from Affiliate Theme. Um, so first of all, you will have to um, download and activate um, the plugin as you have to do also with the Amazon plugin or any other plugin that you use to import products. So let's go to the import tab over here. And there we have this list of um, affiliate partners that cooperate with us. And um, well, here you see there is the eBay API and you can download the file here. And after you downloaded it, um, you can go to plugins, click add new, click upload plugin and just drag and drop the file here. Click install now and then the file is inside your system. Just keep in mind to activate the theme after you um, install it so um, actually i already uploaded it so you can see that here the ebay um, plugin is already um, installed we just have to activate it so i'm going to click activate now so after you activated um, the ebay plugin you just go to the import tab and there will be a new link which is called ebay and right here you have again um, similar settings as with any other plugin you use to import products. So first of all, you have to identify yourself um, or to be more specific, uh, identify your affiliate account you have um, in the eBay network. So you're just gonna have to enter the data here so you can actually import products. Um, so if you are wondering like how exactly this works, um, uh, I recommend you to go through our article uh, in the documentation um, and this is the article about eBay so just um, search for um, eBay right here and you will find the API eBay right away and here you can see where you can get the app ID, the campaign ID, custom tracking ID and everything else you need uh, for uh, the settings here, the general settings. Um, and again here you have um, update process settings um, so you can decide what should be updated and what should not be updated regularly so the EAN I would just keep this as updated um, and of course also well you can choose if the prices should be updated and the URL so I'm just going to keep them all by default but if you wish you can um, customize uh, the update settings right here so after um, all general settings uh, are done, you can switch to the uh, search tab. Again, this tab just works if you already identified yourself uh, as an eBay partner. So after you did this, you can just um, analog to um, any other um, import plugin. You can search for products here. So let's just go through a quick example that matches our um, uh, affiliate website we're just going to search for BenQ monitor monitor um, well we just want buy it now options so no auctions so let's just say minimum price should be 100 euros and uh, well we don't have to um, actually like fill in every field here just uh, if you have more specific information for what you're searching for obviously you can use it so here we can find a 79 inch BenQ LED touch display. Okay, that's not what we're searching for, but you can see um, that this actually uh, works. And um, you can here define how many products should be displayed uh, per page. So right now here we just have 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we have 10 here, but you can change this up to 100 products per page. And you can also define the sorting, for example, if you're searching for a very general um, keyword, as I just did, you see that there are 86 results actually for the German eBay shop. So um, you might want to like um, define how it is displayed so you find the exact product you're searching for. So the next tab we have is API log. So the API log logically logs every event so this might be an import of a product uh, or an update of a product and um, this really lets you track any particular event and um, actually the log only shows the last 200 entries so if it gets too confusing you can delete the log manually via the delete log button 
Um, this is just uh, sometimes sensible, um, like if a product is updated and something is wrong and you just want to see like where does that come from, you can just check the API log. So next we have the button tab. So here again, you can change how the buy button for a product imported from eBay should look like. So um, maybe you want a different text um, than for um, for Amazon imported products, for example, then you can change it here. Um, and just like here you have the short option and there you have like the, the regular buy now um, button option. So you can like define any value. So the advantage here is that if you have a website which imported products from different shops, just not from like one entity, you can actually uh, de um, like define this and customize it here. Uh, and last but not least, you have the help tag. If you click the help tab, you, you just get to uh, our documentation um, online. Um, just one last information for you. Um, in this video, um, I didn't cover how to import the products exactly. So for example, if we just um, again uh, search for one product and you get this long list of products. Of course, here you have the opportunity to import the products. This is what um, the plugin is about. So you can click uh, either the import or the quick import button. So um, please watch the Amazon video, the Amazon plugin video uh, in our documentation or on our YouTube channel about this because, um, well, this is again, um, uh, a theme for itself and there are a lot of things you can consider just that you know it uh, if you click import uh, this means you can uh, choose more options what you want to do when you import so you can say which taxonomy for example should be applied for that product um, you can change which images should be imported and which images should not be imported etc and quick import just imports the product right away so um, just for you to know but if you want to know this more in detail please take a look at the Amazon plugin video, as I said, on our YouTube channel or in our documentation.